Hello everyone, it's episode 17 of the Road to Glory free-to-play series, so let's showcase everything what we've been up to in the last day, as well as this morning what we've been pushing and showcase off some tech as well as the progress of the City Hall. So, stay tuned for everything you guys have been missing out on, on Road to Glory episode 17. Hello, so yes, we're in episode 17, and one thing straight away that's going to capture everyone's eyes is we have updated how our city looks. We had a bit of a some free time while we were doing some scouting, which I'm going to cover a little bit later, but during that time, I, you know, I used it and rebuilt the city. So this is what our new city hall looks like. It's quite beautiful, if you ask me. We're using a lot of the natural stuff. So if you've noticed, if your area doesn't have like these pools, you can just, as you can see, it disappears if you've got something on it. And if you've got nothing there and it's not, for example, not there, you can place something here then remove it. And when you do do that, it will allow you to obviously have access to it. So we've made some nice little areas around it. Obviously all the farming zones are gonna be here. So once these are fully four out of four, it'll hit these nice little end zones. But yeah, this is the new city. I hope you guys enjoy it. I would love to hear you guys comment. So that's what, one thing we've been actually doing with our time, it actually took us about an hour to sort this out and figure out where things were gonna go. But all of our military is on the right, as well as the little fly building here. And we've got all our farming and hospitals on the left side, as well as anything to do with, you know, the storehouse, which we're upgrading still to 18, so we can get this up to 19. But any of the storehouse, you know, your market, as well as the goblin market, it's all here together. And you can see we've kept the nice little area, so it looks kind of like a beautiful little, you know, area now. You've got your altar where we're going to summon stuff as well as the rally heart but it looks like one big unit building right and then in the back is the august stone so one thing to let you guys know the hydra has come so we're waiting for the hydra to unlock so if we zoom out right now and just go to this um, zone you can see and on the time of the recording we've got nine hours and 45 until it comes so that's going to be around 10 about you know 10 utc around that time um and then we're going to be able to kill that so for all you guys don't you worry i am going to be recording it hopefully participating in it as well so we can get obviously a new up-to-date raid guide as well as i'll put it in the episode two so you can see us fighting it as a new road to glory episode so you're going to get a double whammy so i hope you guys enjoy that so when we're going back to the main city though, you're going to notice we have jumped a little bit of power and the reason is is because again we hit our VIP level 8. So as soon as we hit VIP level 8 you've noticed our gems is nicely going up and again we are farming gems when we're able to. So if we go to the report you can see we are farming some gems in our downtime between things you know so we were destroying a flag so during that time i destroyed a flag and i farmed some gems and waited to get three marches back because again i need to start using this cp to level up my heroes so if you look we are on level 23 heroes um a patrol shall say i've already killed one today so we've already got the keys for doing that that's why we're on the new section as well as today, we do have the Divine Depository. So I am thinking again of burning as much of the CP as we can. Because we do have a bunch saved up from the weekly market that you can purchase them from. And if you're wondering what we're talking about there, if you go to your Goblin, um, not your Goblin Market, your, your main, no it is your Goblin Market, should I say. You can obviously spend some resources in here to get some goodies. But when you go to your store, that's the one we want. And then go into the area, you can buy basic CP every week. So I've been buying both of these out every week so we can start stocking up on what we need. We don't obviously buy the epic medals yet. I want to, but I don't have the resources capable of doing it. We're going to focus on these once we hit more on City Hall 21. Because at the moment, our heroes, guys, are coming along. We've almost finished our Guan Win. Our Craig is coming along as well. Almost 555. And once he's 555 all the way across, we're going to then level up this star to give him 5551. So once we've done that, we will then obviously have hopefully Nico in a better place. Because you can see 
We've got eight sculptures. We could invest into him right now and get him leveled up. So we're going to keep saving and saving and saving to see how lucky we're going to be with our rolls. Because at the moment, our Valen is higher, as you can see. So we might need to actually invest into a 5111 Valen before we use our Nico. Just because, again, it's all down to luck, guys. You've got to work with what you've got. That's my biggest advice I've always said throughout and I've said on the podcast and stuff, if you're a free-to-play player, just work with what you've got and, and you'll honestly get there in the end. And you can see this account is already getting to places that you can already be happy with once you've started, you know, pumping more hours into the game and get into like season two where we're going to have more rewards and obviously more access to more functions in the game because again... Season 1, guys, there's a lot of things we're missing. We're missing stuff to do with, like, the extra universal keys acquisition because you can get extra um, daily quests complete. So when you complete these daily quests, it gives you a resource in Season 2. And then that gives you, basically, a free universal key that appears here on the main account. So you might have noticed it on my main when we do some artifact draws on there compared to the newer accounts that are still in Season 1. So that's what we've been doing. And um, we've also, if we look here, we've actually completed all of our Tier 2 now. So we don't have to worry about that. We're hard training Tier 3 fresh now on archers and majors which is great so we're gonna start building our army up and gaining power really easily again because these are fresh troops now we're not upgrading anything else so we've got our infantry units still working almost done the last 14k again we might upgrade maybe this building up a little bit to speed up the process we'll see it in the future but again, we're just trucking along with the Elks. Again, we've not touched these guys, but we're having... Honestly, we've got a load of Elks. So if we go to our Legions here, you can see in all, we've all already got nearly 45.8k, which is great. If we can end almost about 60,000 plus work Elk, we're going to be in a great position. Because as soon as we hit around 60,000 work Elk, in my opinion, we can slow down and actually focus on the Cavalry units then. And then maybe in Season 2, you know, you might need a little bit extra work out towards the end. But we can work towards that when we come to that hurdle, right? So we're going to do one thing at, at once. So as you guys know, the City Hall does require the Storehouse to upgrade. We're on 16. We're going through 17 right now. On camera, we are going to speed it through. Because we are trying to push through, to be honest, now into the later stages. Because... We are closing, like I said, down to that beautiful um, tier 4 research. So here's the building. Basically, going to be done in the next 35 seconds. We're going to set that going. So that'll be finished, hopefully, by tomorrow. So that'll be a new level 18 building, which would then mean for us... We can now build the Foundry up to level 18, then the Hospital, which is, I believe, this one, yep. Yeah. This Hospital up to 18, and then you can do your Wall to 18, and then we can push to level 19 on the City Hall. And we're only two City Hall levels away, then, from unlocking the Tier 4 Research and getting somewhere really powerful with the account. So when we're talking about Research, we're going to go into it as well. As you see, we've got two queues, and that's because we've got VIP 8, just as a reminder. And what we've done is push through as much as we can, and scholarship level 2 does require City Hall 21. So because of that, what I've done is gone straight down and got some maximum CP. We're at level 3 on this, and we're doing now breath control to get this to level 3 as well, so they match each other. And during that time, we started, as you can see, the peacekeeping damage. We're only going to do one point in here for now because we're going to try and get the military XP bonus as high as we can. So we're going to try and actually abuse the f just clicking it and letting the free, you know, daily research complete. We're not going to invest any of our speed ups here while we wait to hit City Hall 21 so we can actually push the scholarship too because it's it's a waste of research not to be doing something while you're waiting right and these are going to be the most beneficial for us because again the more cp we're going to have guys 
the more easily we're going to level up all our heroes and get that power game that we're going to need, right? So there we are. We've upgraded the building. That's why we're all showing arrows. This one obviously looks a little bit hidden because of the tree. It's fine. But if we click on it, it's 23 hours. So what we're going to do just before, because it is a little bit long of that one, we're going to see we've got a 10% research stone there, which we used already earlier today. We're going to see if there's any stone spawn. They haven't killed me yet. But it doesn't look like we've got any building speeds. Nope, and these have respawned. So since we've got nothing, we're going to go and actually just set it going. That's fine. We're going to make sure, though, next time, guys, and I'm going to make sure we get it on camera, we're going to get a building rune next time because I can guarantee the speed time we're going to need to reduce the foundry, the hospital, and then the wall, and then obviously the city hall is going to be very beneficial. This again isn't too much. This is going to get reduced about four to five hours with the Alliance help, which is great for us because we're obviously not investing anything into it. So by tomorrow, this is obviously going to be completed, which is going to be good for us as a free to play player. We've not invested any speed ups. So that's great. So that's pretty much all we've done on Road to Glory episode 17 today. You know, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be basically finishing off my CP and emptying it out and leveling up the guys. And then later on today, we've got the Hydra, which will be recorded. But as you can see, the kingdom or the server looks a little bit more stable. It's a lot more safe here right now. And obviously, we've got all protection on these passes. So DS have only got access from this top side. So we do get a load of notice. And we can track them when we do see them enter the zone. So if they try and farm killers, we're always fully aware. So that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. I've pretty much covered everything that I've done. Um, the only thing I haven't, and I actually just remembered before we do finish up, is we're at, we did push a little bit on the Dragon Trials. We're at 61 free stars. We can probably hit to 65 free stars. So that's what we're going to do. And if we can hit 70, we will. But when we get to the last stages, especially this last 10, I will record the last 10. But if you guys are struggling on any of these stages, again, let me know in the comments. I can do a video on this and just show, again, how I've been coming about it. But if we look even in this and go to challenge, I've just been running the same four marches. This is an Elena combo with Chak Cha instead of the Garwood, just because we're getting more stats for our march that's more relevant for us and then we have our alistair with a very high leveled now solon's blade to punch through a lot of the damage in the early phase so you get a big aoe you know blast with the artifact and then killer behind him honestly is great because he reduce they reduce their at uh, attack and the march speed on the target so it's really actually beneficial for alistair for me at the moment because we don't have, really have access to that many heroes right and obviously, we're still running the um, Gwen Win Craig combo. And then here we were running Waldea and Atheus, because Atheus is at 5 1 1 1. A lot stronger at the moment than our free 0 on our Valen. So that is it. That is the Dragon Trials summed up. Everything on the account summed up, as well as a beautiful new look as we come into the new age and new era. Hopefully when we unlock the T4. So I we'll hope you enjoyed the episode, guys, on episode 17 of the Road to Glory series. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you thought so far of the series, if it's been helping you or not. Obviously, I've been trying to obviously adapt and make this um, series better through the comments, right? So obviously the first episode to the second episode, I heard you guys shout. And I've been trying to obviously showcase you guys more often what we've been doing on a day-to-day -day basis and obviously when we've been able to live stream we've obviously got those live streams up that you can obviously re-watch on the channel so if you want to check it out just click on the channel hit the live tab and you'll be able to see those for yourself so, right so if you again if you've enjoyed the video smash like comment and subscribe for the final time guys but that is me mr sneaky finishing it up on episode 17 until the next time stay safe stay sneaky and peace out